What's up guys, thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a new injector dubbed Injectine to install N64 ROMs to your Wii U's home menu. This means you'll be able to store N64 games on the same hard drive as your Wii U games and use the gamepad. This injector also supports GBA, NES, and SNES virtual console injections, but I'm only going to be showing you the N64 side of things. The game that I'm going to be injecting is Banjo-Kazooie, so if you guys are ready, let's get this started. Right off the bat, head down to the link in the description and grab Injectine version 1.21. You're also going to need some sort of ROM. As you can see, I have the European version of Banjo-Kazooie. Now the file format of the ROM does not matter as Injectine will convert it over to a Z64, but as you can see, I've already got a Z64, so it doesn't really matter. You're also going to need a boot DRC text.png, a boot TV text.png, as well as an icon text.png. Now you can go ahead and grab these from the GBA temp thread I've linked in the description. Just be noted that a lot of them are .tga, but Injectine will convert PNGs over to a TGA for you. Go ahead and right click Injectine and use 7-zip to extract it to here. I'm going to go ahead and delete the RAR file as I don't need it any longer. Now what we need to do is take our banners as well as Banjo-Kazooie and cut them all, and then open up Injectine, and inside of here you're going to see three different folders. What you need to do is place these inside of your files folder. So I'm going to go ahead and paste these into here. Now that my ROM and my icons are all in place, I'm going to go up a directory and open up Injectine. Now that I've got Injectine open, go ahead and select which console you want. So I want Nintendo 64, I'm going to press 3 and then hit enter. Now Injectine is going to ask you which base ROM you want to use. Now you can go ahead and put a decrypted base ROM into your files folder, but I'm just going to go ahead and use Donkey Kong 64 to match my European Banjo-Kazooie. Press 2 and hit enter. Now you're going to have to head over to the Wii U Title Keys website and get the title key for whatever ROM you decided to use. So I need to get Donkey Kong 64, the European version. I'm going to go ahead and just paste it into here and then hit enter. Up next, it's going to ask you for the Wii U Common Key. Now to get the Wii U Common Key, go to Google, type in Wii U Common Key Paste Bin and hit enter. It'll be the very first result. Go ahead and paste it in and then hit enter. Up next, you have to decide how many lines does your game name use. So Banjo-Kazooie isn't very long, so I'm going to go ahead and type in one line and hit enter. Now I need to go ahead and enter in the name of the game, so I'm going to type in Banjo-Kazooie and hit enter. Now you can go ahead and enter in any product code you want. I'm just going to put 1234, hit enter. And now I don't want a title ID, so I'm going to let it do it for me. Hit N and then hit enter. Inject team will now create an N64 injection. Go ahead and hit Y. Now after a bunch of text has flown by, it's going to ask you if you wanted to find a custom INI slash ROM name. I'm just going to go ahead and hit N for no. Hit enter. Now it's going to ask you which config.ini file do you want to use. Now if you head down to the link in the description and check the N64 injection compatibility list, then beside each game it'll show you which any the person used to get the result. So if you happen to see a game that works on there, you might want to check out which INI it happened to use. Next to Banjo-Kazooie, it said it used Donkey Kong 64, the European version, so I'm just going to go ahead and type 4. I could also type 7 as it's also my base ROM. So I'm just going to type in 4, hit enter. Up next, Injectine is going to ask you if you want to pack the game using NUS Packer. Now you do want to do this because this will give you a WUP Installer GX2 file that you can go ahead and install. Otherwise, you'll have to run the game through Lodine. So I'm going to go ahead and type in yes, I do want to use NUS Packer. Hit enter. Now again, a ton of text will fly by and afterwards you'll have injection complete. So as you can see in our output folder, I now have Banjo-Kazooie. Hit any button to continue. Here in the Injectine folder, go ahead and open up Output and you should see your game. Now all we have to do is put this onto the root of our SD card inside the Install folder. Over here on the left, I have my Wii U's SD card. Now if you don't have an Install folder on the root, go ahead and create one. Now I'm going to drag Banjo-Kazooie over to the Install folder. Now that Banjo-Kazooie is in my Install folder, I'm going to safely eject my SD card, reinsert it into my Wii U, and I'll meet you guys down there. Down here on the Wii U, go ahead and open up Hackschi while holding A to enter custom firmware or go ahead and launch Mocha custom firmware. I'm just going to use Hackschi. Now we need to do this before we enter Whoop Installer GX2 or we might get an error. Now that my Wii U has rebooted and is in custom firmware, all we have to do is launch Whoop Installer GX2 either from the homebrew launcher or go ahead and use the Hackschi icon. So I'm going to go ahead and launch my HackSG icon while holding the B button and this is going to allow me to open up Whoop Installer GX2. 
Down here on Whoop Installer GX2, go ahead and tap on Banjo Kazooie and hit install. Yes, and make sure you install it to a USB. Now again, you can move this over to your system NAND afterwards using data management. Go ahead and hit OK. Exit out of Whoop Installer GX2 by pressing the home button. Press the home button again to exit out of the homebrew launcher. Now tap the X to get out of Me Maker. Back on the Wii U home menu, you can see I now have Banjo-Kazooie installed. All I have to do is launch it, and let's hope it runs. There's the awesome little splash screen, and would you look at that. We got ourselves an N64 injection. Uh -huh. Now just a quick note, you might have some screen stretching issues if you happen to pair a USA ROM with a European PAL ROM and vice versa. Originally I used the USA version of Banjo-Kazooie with the European version of Donkey Kong 64 and this left me with part of the screen still black so the bottom didn't reach the bottom of the gamepad and it looked a little weird. It wasn't too bad but as you can see here it's fixed by using the European version with the European Donkey Kong. So just take that into consideration when you're choosing a base ROM. There is also currently no way to make this full screen, so you're kind of stuck in 4-3 ratio. Now this is fully playable with the gamepad, or you can play it on the TV with the Wii U Pro Controller. I'm currently using the Wii U Pro Controller and playing it on my TV, but it is streaming to the gamepad as well. As you can see, the game is working absolutely flawlessly. If you guys happen to have any questions or comments, please go down to the comments section and let me know. While you're down there, go ahead and slam the thumbs up button, it really helps out the channel. If you wanted to, you could hit the dislike button in case you hated the video, but hopefully you don't do that. Also while you're down there, maybe hit that big red subscribe button because we have tons more videos coming. If you guys want to see any more injection videos on the Wii U, probably let me know that as well. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, there's a link down in the description. Much love, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!